since the Florida Department of Environmental Protection stopped pumping contaminated water from Piney Point into Tampa Bay. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane went out into Tampa Bay with a team that continues to monitor the changes in water quality. To prevent a leaking gypsum stack from collapsing at Piney Point, more than 200 million gallons of contaminated water was pumped into Tampa Bay. That's about 100,000 bags of fertilizer dumped into Tampa Bay in this one location. And even though the pumping has stopped, the environmental impact could still be months away. The water here in the bay off of Piney Point is not toxic. I'm actually out here standing in it. What's concerning is the elevated levels of nitrogen and how it could impact the lush seagrass beds. And nitrogen that is in the Piney Point water feeds bad algae like this macroalgae. Macroalgae explodes in numbers. It covers and buries the seagrass beds that are out there. I went out with Tampa Bay Watch as they continue to monitor the water quality and health of the seagrass beds. So we are right at the beginning of the spill. As these nutrients become absorbed in the bay, they're going to start uh, causing algae blooms. Algae blooms that feed red tide. Here is a current red tide map from FWC. The DEP says right now areas where red tide is present are not from Piney Point. However, they say based on this Piney Point water flow model, Piney Point nutrients could feed these algae blooms. This map shows where water quality is constantly being tested. They say right now the bay is still okay for recreation and there are no fish kills in that area. But only time will tell the environmental impact from the Piney Point discharge. And it's really up to all of us to monitor the conditions to make sure to continue to move forward with the recovery of the bay. In Manatee County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.